Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to all. So welcome to our 14th session of webinar series Leaders of Enterprise brought to you by the Faculty of Engineering University Technology Malaysia Johor Bahru. So we are initiating university industry collaboration platform with our Leaders of Enterprise webinar to share their thoughts way forward and challenges, especially during this COVID-19. So now we are streaming live from Facebook, Faculty of Engineering, University Technology, Malaysia. So today, uh, we would like to welcome engineer uh, technology Sukhairul Nizam, uh, representing the Institution of Engineers Malaysia, IEM. Please welcome uh, engineer technologies Sukhairul. Alhamdulillah, Engineer Technology Sukhairul, how are you? I'm fine. Assalamualaikum, Prof. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I'd like to say thank you very much for accepting our invitations. And it's our privilege to have you with us today. And uh, today, uh, to all viewers, uh, Engineer Sukhairul will be sharing with us a very interesting topic uh, related to automotive industry. So he will be share with us on the title of customer satisfactions in automotive industry. So uh, before uh, I pass to uh, Engineer Sukhairul to give his presentations, so I would like to uh, sh share with the viewers uh, his background. Uh, some biodata. So, Engineer Sukhairul Nizam Abdul Razak uh, received his early education at the Sekolah Menengah Methodist SCS Kelang Selangor. He later furthered his study at University Technology of Malaysia UTM. So, I, I, Sukhairul actually our UTM alumnus. Yeah, welcome back to UTM, Engineer Sukhairul. So he's a graduate in the uh, Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering Aeronautical and he also received a Master in Business Administration from Charles Sturt University, Australia. Uh, he's also registered as a professional mechanical engineer with practicing certificate since 2001 with Board of Engineers Malaysia. So Engineer Sukhairul, I think, started working with uh, Proton, yeah, Sendirian Berhad, and he been about 18 years experience with Proton. Maybe uh, uh, we would like to know that uh, uh, after 18 years, you've been working with Proton R&D, uh, Proton ADA, technical services, and sales and marketing, and we a lot of uh, experience you with Protons. So after you, after Proton, what, what challenge you do, uh, Engineer Sukairo, after 18 years with Proton? Can you share with us? Okay, actually, when I was in thank you, Prof. Yeah, uh, Assalamualaikum and very good morning to all. Yeah. So after I uh, quit from Proton, I resigned from Proton. Actually, previously, I am uh, pursue my PhD yeah, in Open University Malaysia. Yeah. So the reason I resigned because I want to pursue further my PhD. I'm doing uh, product recall uh, research. Yeah. But during that time, uh, there was uh, uh, some things like somebody uh, uh, invited me to join insurance uh, business with Prudential Assurance Malaysia. Yeah? So because I want to deal direct with customers, I want to expose with customers and so on. So that's the reason I'm being an insurance uh, agent. Yeah? So during yeah. that time, uh, uh, more than two years, I got the experience how to do selling on policies for the life insurance. Then suddenly, uh, I have an uh, opportunity to work as a sales advisor for product. Wow. Uh, mm. To sell a uh, product car because I want <laughs> because I want to get the experience on that. So I managed to sell ten is per month then one years and then later yep. after that one mm -hmm. uh, headhunters call me. I mean work and in SHM Malaysia as a coach for Mercedes Benz Malaysia. 
Right. Oh. <laughs> so that means okay. so what so, experience? Uh, yeah, dealing with customers. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Without so, further ado, uh, yeah. Yes. You do you, you do you say something? Yeah. Uh, so after uh, I work in in essential measure, uh, yep. we uh, we we Mercedes band. We uh, mm -hmm. I uh, coach the Mercedes staff. Yeah, establish the product expert in the Mercedes bands around the country. And then after completed the job, I'm uh, employed as a uh, senior lecturer for City University, Malaysia. And now mm -hmm. currently working in a uh, first city university uh, college uh, as a lecturer. Wow. Okay, from. okay, very, very vast experience, uh, Engineer Sukairo. So, okay, without further ado, I think uh, the viewers would like to share your presentation. So I pass to you, over to you, Engineer Sukairo, with your presentation. Okay, thank you, bro. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashwa kiram. Ya Iwan Musayim wa ala ala sabri ajma'in. So uh, uh, today I'm very ha get happy uh, to share to all of you. So the topic for today is customer satisfaction in automotive industry. Yeah. Uh, for your information, uh, I was in automotive uh, business more than twenty uh, more than twenty years. Yeah. Uh, started work with a uh, Proton R and D. I'm designing car. Yeah, Proton car, especially developing uh, body kits, bumpers, skirting, spoilers. And I'm in charge on painting, anti-corrosion, and also specialist for aerodynamic. Yeah. Okay. So if you have any question after this, uh, maybe at the end of the session, uh, we can uh, I, I can answer any questions that you want to raise to me, right? Okay. So for today, this more towards the case study, yeah. Uh based uh, based from my experience, and then this is for a study only, lah, eh? All right? Okay. So the uh, cons the, the uh, what the customer satisfaction yeah so the overview for this presentation yeah consists of first is the concept mitigation uh, success and survivability and also recommendation yeah so I believe uh, some of you maybe the uh, students yeah maybe the graduate engineer yes yeah, start working or maybe uh, uh, graduate engineers wants to find a job yeah so I think this is the best. Uh, uh, information that you can get from me and then maybe you can apply later in your career yeah? okay so uh, as engineer yeah uh, as engineer what's the things that we need to know the basic uh, basics of uh, working yeah so the basic concept is a plan do check and action yeah and do check and action yeah so the concept yeah, whatever the jobs that you want to do especially technical person like me i'm always use this concept yeah plan check and action okay so so the first mitigation yeah uh, is plan is to identify the company's kpi yeah assumes that you want to work in automotive industry yeah so first day your job you want to know what the company is doing yeah so my uh my job eh, especially my any jobs that i want to go work with i want to see the overall uh challenges in the company yeah so from the my previous experience in proton before yeah, these are case studies are uh, uh, on march 2006 and january 2008 it so you can see that uh in the company we have a uh, three segments yeah first is btp a business operation program and then one second is cash and then a uh, third one is the key enablers yeah so for btp yeah is that uh the objective or the value creation yeah value creation consists of earning before tax it means it means that the profit of the company and also the asset productivity yeah it means that we have the asset and then what's the 
benefit from the assets that we gain from. Yeah. So if you just uh, uh, review back when you was in study as an engineer before, yeah, uh, maybe you have a subject called engineering economy. Yeah. So this engineering economy subject is very important for you in order for you to work in industry later. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, example: uh, What is net, net present value? What is the uh, what uh, return of investment? They have been taught in the subject uh, engineering economy, right? So when I was in Proton before, I know that there was two uh, sales activation and also the cost reduction. It's more towards the uh, to make the profit for the company. Yeah. So that during my my time, uh, uh, year 2006 uh, till January to tributes, yeah, to uh, to uh, fight for the challenge, lah, yeah. It means that when we was a proton, we also have a competitors around us like Toyota, Perodua, Nissan, and so on. So this is the company strategies order to compete in the market, yeah, in the automotive market. Then uh, was yeah, first they look for enhanced product portfolio. It means that. When you want to sell a car, what type of car that customers want to buy? Yeah, whether they want small, whether they want to buy a sedan car or MPV and so on. Yeah, so we need to understand what products that company are selling to the customer. Yeah, and then after that is enhanced frontline execution. It means that uh, we need to know about what types of people want to sell the car. Whether we need to have a few dealer or whether we need to have a few branches and and so on. Yeah. And then uh, um, number three, it expand customer segment. It means that customer segment in terms of who the customers wants to purchase our car. Is it the young graduate engineer? Is it the uh, what the just married or the family guys wants to buy our car? Yeah? Based on the customer segment, we know what's the product suitable to be sell to the customer, right? And then number four is offer attractive promotional package yeah it's easy to uh, sell a car but we have a competitors around us that also doing promotion also uh wants to sell their product yeah so uh in order to ensure that customers want to buy the car from us we need to offer additional values yeah additional values for the customer yeah for example giving a uh, uh interest rate a low interest rate for the finance yeah if, uh, for example, we give the extended warranty period for the customer. That is the other additional values that we can offer to the customer. Yeah. So number five is a brand enhancement initiative. Yeah. It's a brand is very important. Yeah. Uh, for example, it's the brand A. Yeah. For example, uh, we have Toyota. Another brand is Proa. In another one is a Proton and so on. Brand is quite very important. Uh, for the automotive uh, business, yeah, because when people say that it's Toyota, people say Mercedes Benz, yeah, so that is the values that bring along with the company, yeah. So uh, it's quite important. We need to do a lot of marketing activities and yeah, to engage with customers to make sure that we are present uh, to uh, pre uh, we uh, present presentable to the customer in order for them to buy or purchase our car and also go to our workshop yeah, after sale business right number six is towards the overhead and general cost reduction yeah uh, we believe that we need to do our uh, investment we need to invest a lot of money yeah to have a new showroom yeah to educate our sale person yeah but we need also need to consider about the cost yeah we cannot just we cannot simply but simply invest and then spend the money yeah but we also need to monitor our our cost, our money, in order it will use uh, accordingly lah, in, in the right portion. Yeah, you cannot just simply use the money. Yeah, for another thing, yeah, we, we need to focus on to do the cost saving. Yeah, so that's the programs that we conducted in the <coughs> company. We have uh, the cost reduction program. Yeah, from design till we selling the car, and then till after. Uh, we uh, service the uh, uh, car for the customer, right? So that is the uh, uh, first portion, uh, business transformation program. And then second one is the cash, yeah? Whereby company are looking toward the asset productivity. It means that when we sell a car, for example, the customer will get the loan from the bank, yeah? 
But when we uh, we give the customer, we deliver the car to the customer, but we also need to collect the cash or collect the money from the customer or from the bank. Yeah. So that is more towards the debt collection. Yeah. So we make we want to make sure that when we sell our product, we need to get our money back. Yeah. Maybe some of the bank uh, pay to us um, maybe less than two weeks. Some of the bank pay more than one month. So that's the things that we need to uh, focus to collect the money yeah, in order for us to do our uh, investment in, in the future, right? And then number eight is more toward the uh, asset liquidation. Yeah, Asset liquidation, it means that if we have a lot of cars not being sold or we have a testing car uh, and then we have a buyback car was not being used, yeah? That's the strategies that a uh, company asks us to uh, sell it, yeah, sell it to the public, eh? open tender and so on in order for company to receive the money instead of keeping the old car or the company's car uh, in the, uh, what, the uh, store of storage, yeah, storage area, yeah. So in terms of that, we can do more cost saving to the company, yeah. For example, if you want to rent to put your car in the storage area, uh, month, maybe monthly you need to pay uh, uh, one area uh, 6,000 ringgit per month, yeah. It's, it's quite a lot of money, yeah. It's better we just, uh, uh, what, open tender for the unused car, yeah, in our area, lah. alright. So finally, is the number third is the key enablers, yeah. Key enablers, it means that we need to focus to the human, yeah, human. And then, for example, number nine, Daily network consolidation, yeah. It means that we need to uh, set up a dealer dealership, yeah. You might whereby when you go to the, the places, we have a showroom, for example. We want to make sure that another showroom, the same uh, brand, is uh, located areas that that not uh, simply uh, near uh, uh, among each other, yeah. So we want to ensure that we have appropriate numbers of dealers and also number of branch, yeah. For example, we have a 40 branches, yeah. So we believe that oh, maybe 10 of the branches is not profitable, yeah. It's a time for them to close the branch in order for us to move forward, yeah. So you are, you are more towards the continuous improvement activity, yeah. So lastly, is number 10. Uh, this is my KPI. I'm as a project manager, eh? When I was in Proton, I have a lot of projects under me. When I complete one, I will be go for another project, and then after another project, and then I go for another project. Yeah. So during this term, uh, 2006 and 2008, so my responsibility is to enhance front line execution capability. Yeah. It means that I need to enhance sales leadership capability, and also, so I need to enhance the salesman product knowledge. Yeah. It's more towards the training. I need to train the branch manager. I need to train the salesman, yeah, in order for them to sell our product well, yeah. I believe that there are a lot of product, very good product, yeah, very good technologies, yeah. But if the sales people don't know how to sell, don't know how to the unique selling proposition of the product, so it's quite useless, yeah, for the designer, for engineer to develop a good, uh, what, a good car, suddenly the uh, frontliner don't know how to sell, yeah. Is quiet or wordless lah, yeah. For example, yeah, uh, coefficient of drag, aerodynamic, yeah, coefficient of drag car, yeah. For example, proton wajah is 0 0.32, yeah. Suddenly, we have another computer, brand A, yeah. And then, uh, the car should be, uh, should, uh, aerodynamic coefficient value is 0 0.35, for example. So, I train the salesperson, yeah, to, uh, to uh, appreciate the values of this uh, coefficient of drag. Aerodynamic coefficient of drag. When I teach them, okay, if you have this CD, less CD, and then the uh, the customers that receive the car, uh, in terms of your option, is better compared with the other competitors car. Yeah. So that's the things that my roles in proton during this period. All right. So if you have any, have any question, maybe after this, then you can ask me lah. Eh? Okay. So, okay, this is uh, my, uh, still under mitigation plan, yeah? So when I know how, what are the plan for the company,
own KPI. Uh, in order for me to achieve the my own KPI and also the company KPI. Yeah. So when you work in the industry, make sure that you need to be holistic. Yeah. It means that you need to see the helicopter view. Lah, eh? It means that not only you want to uh, uh, achieve your target, but you also need to make sure that your friend also achieve their target, yeah? Because we need to work as a team, yeah? Team spirit, yeah? We cannot work alone, yeah? Because everybody, when got bonus, for example, got increment, everybody got bonus, yeah? So we need to work in harmony, and uh, work in uh, same, uh, friendly, uh, and can meet our target, yeah? So you can see, uh, you can look uh, my KPI, yeah, during this period. I'm the project manager. My role is to enhance his leadership capability and enhance my product knowledge. So how I want to achieve my KPI, yeah? So these are the key responsibilities that been given to me uh, by the management. And then first of my KPI is to increase JD power sales satisfaction index, yeah? And then second is to represent service division as project manager in product quality confirmation meeting, yeah? It means that I need to be in the meeting with production people. I need to engage with engineers. I need to engage with quality person, yeah, in order for us to uh, together succeed in the uh, business, right? Okay. So number three is to establish Proton Ada service dealer technical training and certification program, yeah. So I come out. I work with all my teams or my trainers, yeah. So we come up with modules. And then we train our workshop technical person, yeah, in order for them to do the job accordingly, yeah. Maybe some of the product is quite complicated and we train our technician, our foreman, our sewing head, yeah, our salesperson, yeah, on the technical know-how uh, on this uh, matter. So we establish, yeah, a skill chart and then we give their certificate, yeah. Uh, we ask our MD, Managing Director, to give the certificate to, to them and then they feel motivated on this kind of approach, all right? So number four is to set annual training budget for all user department in service division, yeah? So HR uh, asked me to come out, come out with annual budget yeah, for training, yeah? So I identify all the stuff that required training, yeah? From the low level till the top management, yeah? So I will discuss with a consultant, I will discuss with this respective department what are the suitable training that need me to be given to our staff, yeah? So I need to engage with consultant, yeah? I need to ask them to provide the quotation and then this is my duty, lah, all right? So number five is to develop the new proposal to improve the overall timing function and infrastructure, yeah? So there are a lot of proposal uh, have been established, yeah. I I train the trainers, yeah. I uh, that's the things that uh, my KPI should be uh, ni lah on, on forward, right? And finally, yeah, finally to update the staff skill chart training record by technical training department, yeah. So I make sure that after you come uh, after my staff complete the, the training. Their training record will be kept yeah, in the technical training departments. Uh, once we we have a PMS or a performance management system evaluation or assessment, we will take all the file, the staff file, and when we check your performance is this, what trainings that you have been going through, what training, the potential trainings need to be given to you in order for you to perform in the future. Yeah. So we have a training record for them. And then uh, this is more towards their career part, yeah. So you can see that from my KPI, it's more towards to for um, motivation, yeah. So because the training is a part of a crucial motivation factors that make the staff happy to work in the organization, yeah. So whenever you have a training, your best training, you can uh, uh, what talk to the customers very well. Customer very happy, and then a lot of customer want to buy car with you, yeah. And yeah, and then when everybody wants to buy car with you, and then sure you got a lot of commission, and then you can be richer, richer uh, by selling the products well, yeah. So this is the uh, plan for my KPI lah, right? Okay. 
So, uh, So after plan, what I need to do is do, yeah? So what methods that I've used in order for me to complete the KPI or to achieve the KPI, yeah? So methodologies that I use is to understand the voice of customers, yeah? And implement it to improve business process achieving KPI, yeah? So we need to know the, uh, to look the holistic picture on the automotive supply chain, yeah? automotive supply chain because of uh, you and I maybe direct customer and then we have a customer uh, but at the end of the day we have the end customer yeah for example when we produce the car our end customer is the per person that purchased the car that is the end customer yeah but internally we also have customer among us yeah? for example uh, okay for engineer R&D engineer the customer is Proton Ada, the person that sells the car, that is the customer, yeah? So we will make sure that all the customer in the supply chain are happy, yeah? And then, and happy, and then what, uh, what happy that wants to have, yeah? When we work as a win-win situation, so everybody will happy, yeah? So how to get happy? So we need to do this kind of uh, activities, lah. So we need to know the voices of our customer, yeah? Entry and also externally, yeah. Externally, externally, it means that the end customer, yeah, the purpose, the uh, customers that purchase our car, right, or service our car, yeah. So I'm focusing toward a uh, sales uh, during this presentation, yeah, because the uh, service, uh, we have a different uh, approach, yeah. So my focus is more toward the sales, lah, right. So you can see from the right hand side, this is voice of of customer, yeah. So, voice of customer consists of SSI, it means the Sales Satisfaction Index. IQS is Initial Quality Satisfaction Index. And CSI is Customer Satisfaction Index. So, what are the difference between uh, these three? Yeah. So, SSI is belong to sale, yeah, sale person, showroom, yeah. And then IQS is more towards the product quality. Yeah, for example, we have a rattling noise to your car, and then your icon is not comfort. You see, you're not comfort. That is the IQS, the service center. Yeah, for example, you want to service, go to the workshop. What uh, what the things that you see in the workshop? Workshop. Yeah, for example, you will find the service advisor. You will find the uh, foreman, technician, and so on. Yeah, so that was the CSI, right? So the voice of customers will go to where? CMC is the customer management center. Uh, nowadays, they call the Proton Eye Care, whereby the customer will uh, call or email uh, or complain direct through, directly to CMC. Yeah. So another channel is service center. Yeah. Imagine you also have your car, isn't it? And then your shop, and then you give the complaint or suggestion to the service center regard for your experience using the car yeah so now it's through website yeah website or facebook yeah maybe proton ada have their own uh facebook yeah so people were chatting there yeah so chatting there is a part of voice of customer yeah even when you see that uh new launch product launch yeah you can see that in the facebook people comment 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 there is the uh voice of the customers we attract the comments yeah we analyze that and then we use it for improve to improve what yeah so it's not simply we see the comment we don't know we don't uh, do anything yeah we keep we take the comment even we call the customer yeah, that comment in the blog or whatever so we explain to them directly what is the commercials need to be done yeah so in order for us to ensure that customer satisfied with our product all right and then number uh, four is news. News, for example, you can see the blogger, uh, for example, Paul, Paul Tan, yeah, Katera, and whatsoever lah. So that's the news that we attract the customer feedback from this channel. And then finally, surveys. Surveys mean we conduct the internal uh, call to the customer, yeah. For example, yeah, uh, one of the salesperson sell the car, yeah, sell the car to uh, one of the people lah, yeah, one of the customer. And then the internal survey will call the customer or even myself as a branch manager before 
I call that my customer. Yeah. Hi customer. Okay. Thanks for buying our car. So I want to make uh, what a quick survey regarding the service conducted by my sales rep. Uh. Can you uh, give me a few minutes time? Yeah. Uh, we can chit chat and so on. Uh. So I will note all the uh, comments given by the customer. Uh. And then I will forward the comments given to the customer to the another one. What is customer section analysis? Yeah, whereby they come out management report. It means that, for example, uh, the customer said, "Oh, the car got rattling noise." Yeah, uh, yeah. So we come up with report, and then the management will endorse the report, and, and then go to the quality improvement committee, consists of from manufacturing, engineering. sales and after sales yeah so all the comments given or the feedback given by customers channel to the three attribute yeah product satisfaction uh, sales delivery satisfaction and finally is service satisfaction yeah so when we see the comments uh, regards to the salesman yeah so we go to ssi when the product uh, comments or uh, what complaints or regards to the product yeah so we go to the IQS. So this is the way that we did uh, in Proton before, lah, right? So when all those uh, feedback given and then we uh, discuss with respective uh, department, yeah, with them regards the issues uh, pop up when customer issues, right? And then uh, R&D will, uh, what, consumers, all those problems and then rectify all the problems and then we have the solution and then we uh, uh what we uh, call back uh, we mentions that okay uh the what the your comments being uh uh what generated and then we are now improvise that and then when the uh, product is good i will call you back and then maybe we can replace the part for you free yeah that's the thing that we work in the uh, proton yeah so this more towards the uh, cycle yeah we, we do the rectification and then we go back again and then we uh, we conduct the survey and then that that's the flow uh, in uh, proton in order for us to satisfy our customer yeah so this is more keep towards knowledge management whereby we we keep all the information the survey the reports in the system in order for us to improve it for the new models yeah development yeah but we are planning uh, in the knowledge management and then being attracted being attracted and then can be used for the new development in the future all right okay yeah what are the data analysis uh being conducted yeah so we want to understand the process of customer Buying and ownership experience, yeah. For the left hand side, you can see that it's more towards the sale, yeah. Sales satisfaction, whereby the twenty eight percent, more the major major one is toward the delivery process, yeah. So if the CSR, the SSR result was not good, yeah, we want to check which one are the worst one, yeah. So we, we know that we need to improvise on delivery process, yeah. For example, we need to take, uh, we need to call the salespersons that deliver the process, yeah. Because we have the record, yeah. When we conduct the call to the customers, the customer tell everything about how the salesman deliver the car in terms of uh, doing the presentation, yeah. And then what's the facilities that available in the showroom, for example, yeah. For example, yeah, you go to the uh, showroom, and then suddenly, uh, uh, what the sales persons came to you and then give you water, yeah? You feel very happy because of these good services, yeah? And the rating for the SSI became become higher, yeah? Uh, that's the things that we have the, uh, what, uh, data relevant for us to make sure that uh, we can go higher and higher in terms of satisfaction for the customer, yeah? So you, you can see from this, the left hand side is for toward the sales satisfaction. And then for the right side is towards the after sale op shop yeah uh, for example yeah the, oh, you can see that 20 percent the major 
attribute for this is service quality. Yeah. From the first uh, point that you want to service your car, what you want to do first? Ah, uh, maybe you want to call the uh, the workshop. You want to check whether the workshop available for you. Yeah. So you need to do appointment service my car. Uh, maybe on Saturday. Ah, uh, okay. The workshop say to you. Okay, you can come at nine. Yeah. Suddenly the customer come to the workshop at nine, but there are a lot of appointments have been uh, go through, and then uh, the workshop said. Sorry, uh, your appointment cancel. So what happened to the customer? Yeah. So guys, customer feel very bad. Yeah, very bad. And then uh, the what? The CSI will be dropped lah. Yeah, because of this kind of uh, poor service. Yeah. So we will make sure that all these attributes being well uh, in the workshop. Yeah. So um, uh, for me, yeah, if the same person uh, do the job accordingly happy the customer yeah and also our workshop also do the job accordingly happy the customer i believe that everybody wants to buy uh, our car yeah everybody happy to buy our car i believe that we can sell a lot of car and everybody even the staff also happy to work in the organization yeah because everybody are happy yeah? so this is the importance of customer satisfaction in the automotive industry yeah so for mitigation plan and do i have a uh, share with you now how mitigation on check yeah so i i want to check in order for me to work on my kpi lah. all right so this this is data analysis where we are now in industry yeah during this 2006 and 2006 yeah so uh, i need to understand what are the uh actual uh, scenario during that time lah right so when i check on jd power asia pacific uh, 2007 yeah you can see for this sales satisfaction emo toward the sales person delivery process is quite uh, crucial yeah if we deliver the car very good yeah so i believe that ssi uh what values will be higher lah. so uh we can uh, focus on uh, a one two attributes in order for us to uplift our uh, level of ssi point right and you can see from the right hand side this is the uh, jd power asia pacific 2007 malaysia sales satisfaction index yeah uh, actually, JD Power is a consultant that do using uh, or do this what they conducted, yeah. For example, in Singapore, in uh, UK, and so on, lah. So it's not only Malaysia, yeah. But for this uh, study, this only conducted for the Malaysia market, yeah. It means that when maybe your colleague, or your uh, neighbors bought Toyota, Nissan, this is quite a fair uh, judgment, lah, or audit, you know, auditing conducted this by this year yeah so during this year 2007 where we are ah uh, you can see it's that we are uh, in the bottom uh, in the bottom that's 759 point you can see toyota is number one 791 followed by nissan no inocom and then uh, we have produa nasa and proton so how i feel during this time i already have show this customer customer will ask how, how I want to buy your car because your poor rating in the list, yeah? Uh, so, in order to make sure that customer uh, trusted our product, I need to uplift this level from the bottom, yeah? At least like up to one, yeah? Okay, so uh, after I check on the JD Power, what should I check and again? So, I need to check internally, yeah? So, I need to check internally. Uh, we can we know that the delivery process there, deal there, paperwork there. So I need to check whether our sales person do the job accordingly or not. So I need to check. First, I need to check is about their yeah, training. Yeah, training. Yeah, whether they have been going to training or not. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this uh, mitigation check I discussed with their. Uh, superior yeah the owner yeah the owner is the sale division yeah i went to the war room and then i asked them can you provide me the list of training provided to our staff our sale person our sales manager 
Yeah. So when I, I got this uh, 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 data uh, from this one, yeah, selling skill, selling selling skill. You can see that basic selling skills and induction for uh, sales club and sales rep. Sales rep is the salesman, lah, right? So you can see that from data uh, year 2005 to 2006, only 42 percent attended the training on basic selling skill. But most of them not attended the training, yeah. So I got the clue, yeah. That's the reason why our CSSI was the bottom because they don't have enough training, right? Maybe they don't go for the training, yeah. And then uh, if they go, it's not being assessed, yeah. So they go to a training for enjoy uh, eating, 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 and then go for nothing, yeah. So that's the thing that I need to focus on, yeah. Training, yeah. So and then uh, I found that on the sales management. Uh, certification for sales management for sales step and sales shit was not conducted. Yeah, it means that they have no certification on selling. Yeah, uh, they have no SOP for sale. They don't know how to sell the car, the, the a car uh, process of delivering the car. They don't know. Yeah, so that's the reasons that why our rank, rank was the bottom. Yeah, from the top list lah. Right. Uh, so I already have this checking uh, medication on check. I know that I need to do something on uh, certificate or certify the sales rep to be competent enough in order for them to work uh, in order. Lah, yeah? For example, to increase the sales satisfaction index. You need to understand uh, the link between uh, sales satisfaction and also uh, profit for the company. Yeah, For example, yeah? If you can satisfy a lot of customer, the customer will share mouth to mouth each other. Yeah. So when they share with each other, so everybody were interested to buy our product. Yeah. So when all the customer wants to buy our product, and then it bring profit to the company. Yeah. And then bring profit to the company, and everybody can have a sm happy smiling face. Yeah. We can have a bonus. We can have an increment. Yeah. And then we can employ more people. Yeah. So that is the important is of customer satisfaction all right okay so in terms of checking i have done uh, on the outside checking external one i refer to jd power yeah you can just google jd power in the all right uh, google you can find a lot of list of uh, jd power result lah. every year even this year also we have the uh, level of satisfaction yeah uh, for every year we have the sales satisfaction in there yeah you can just go through uh, google lah, right Okay, so after check, what I need to do? Yeah, plan, do, check, action. Yeah, so this is the time for me to action. Yeah, so I already checked. I got the result. Then this is my time for action. Yeah, what I need to do? Yeah, training, execution, enhance sales leadership, capability, assessment, product knowledge is my KPI. Yeah, so I know company's KPI. I know my own KPI. This time for me to work. Yeah, so I cannot just... Simply talking, 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 I need to work, yeah? So, I need, I need yeah? this more to, uh, uh, I need to refer to uh, academy. I need to refer to book, yeah? Uh, I, I cannot rely on just talking, talking. I need to go to library, yeah, to find the solution, how to solve this problem, yeah? So, as project manager, myself is project manager, my duty is to get the best solution to the company, yeah? Because it's quite a risk for me to do something at the end of the day, we cannot get any result, yeah? So, I refer to white book. I, uh, my, I use the reference Honeycutt ED4JB uh, C-Mini Tiras, AC year 2003, a Sales Management, a Global Perspective, Rutledge, London, yeah? So, according to the book, or uh, according to the reference, yeah? So, in order for us to train our sales people, so this, there are five items need to be uh, focused, yeah? First is product knowledge, it's 35%, yeah? It means a proton satanio, we have a proton juara, we have a lot of proton models, yeah? So I need to make sure that they understand about the product features, they understand how to sell the products. It means that it go back to the unique selling points of the product, yeah? So later what I need to focus on, the sales technique. Yeah, because I... Uh, please the slide before that they don't been certified yet they don't know they don't have sop yeah so this is the sales technique 
required uh, to be trained to all the same person. Yeah. And then uh, the third one is market information. It means they also need uh, to know about uh, their uh, competitors. Yeah. They need, need to know what are Produa doing. Yeah. What are Toyota doing. Yeah. So they also need to know. Yeah. In order for them to uh, sell the Proton, they also need to know what competitors are doing right now. Yeah. In order to compete them. Right. And then number four is company info, a uh, 10%. Uh, so, all uh, right, uh, our staff also wants to know uh, to this company, yeah, what share, yeah. So they also wants to know because they are also a stakeholder, uh, because they also work as a staff, yeah. They also wants to know what the direction of the company, yeah. So we need to deliver to them what a uh, uh, company's direction. And then finally, it's another topic, yeah, other topic interest, lah. Uh, for example, during this COVID, what the things that we need to do, yeah. So that's the things that. Uh, five elements that I need to uh, action, to do the action, yeah. From this uh, five elements, so I come up with a few segments, technical, human relation, marketing management, operation management, and strategic management, yeah. So I saw that one, so I need to discuss with all marketing department, I discuss to their heads, I need to discuss with a strategic management department, I need to discuss discuss with human department to work with me yeah because i'm the project manager yeah i don't have any staff I, under me but i need to work alone yeah so i need to work together with all the respective department to assist me to achieve the company kpi yeah so when we discuss with all, all those related for example when i discuss with technical service department so i i i i, I mentioned to the boss yeah boss uh, please come out with a uh, suitable models for our staff, yeah. Uh, product knowledge is worse, yeah. Uh, they don't know how to uh, uh, do the presentation to the customers, yeah. In terms of warranty, also they don't know, yeah. So that's the thing that technical managers will uh, ask their staff, yeah, the trainer, their trainer from the technical department to come out with module assisting me, lah, right. So they provide all the modules, uh, technical highlight, engineering room technical intro, cockpit and RNH to me, yeah, to execute, yeah. And then I go to the human resource. So they uh, give me a suitable modules, yeah, seven habits of effective people, industrial relations, strategic human resource, and so on, lah. And the marketing management uh, department, they give me a financial insurance highlight, effective marketing strategy, and so on, yeah. And then go to the operation management, it's under myself, lah. Uh, quality awareness, quality audit, uh, sales SOP, yeah, that is my, my role. Lah. I establish my own SOP, uh, modules, yeah, for, in order for that, for us to uh, train our trainer, right? And then finally, I went to the strategic management department, and then they provide me the uh, direction of the company, yeah, domestic marketing, and then competitor strategy, yeah. So as a project, project manager, I need to discuss with all relevant person, yeah, in order to work in harmony together with them, yeah. I believe every department, every manager have their KPI. So I want to, I, I discuss with them, okay, I will help you to uh, to get your KPI, achieve your KPI. Why don't we work together, yeah. I achieve my KPI, you also achieve my KPI. Why Why not? Why difficult to work each other, yeah? It's not difficult, yeah. You just support me, I support you, yeah. That is the win-win situation yeah so and all the departments uh, provide their trainer yeah and then uh, uh, we uh, we have a few trainers yeah around 10 or 20 trainers yeah and then all the modules being uh, what? segregate to respective trainers and then uh, this is the time for us to go to the site yeah so we go to showroom by showroom yeah workshop to workshop train our personnel yeah and even we ask them to come to the HQ lah, for the training yeah for the what we have a, a what a more bigger size room eh, for us to train more staff right to engage more staff yeah so whenever what the training that being conducted we compulsory to have assessment yeah we do the assessment yeah so every trainings that we conducted we go we do the assignment for example myself I'm more toward the six sale process. I expert on that. So I will go to the showroom. I will call all the sales person, yeah, one by one, yeah. Okay, you come to me. Okay, you need to go do the role play, yeah. You present to me how you present the car to the customer. So I will give the mark. Oh, your marks is seven. 
your presentation skill is not good yeah so your skill chart will be 70 percent yeah 50 percent yeah even fail you need to go for another training refresh training back till you pass the test yeah so we come out the skill chart yeah so for all the uh, nationwide uh, training we come up with a total skill chart and then we present to our management our managing directors yeah and then uh, they see the picture uh, and then we can conclude that the average product knowledge for example for the sales person is 70 percent yeah so whenever the product coming uh, launching so we know how much how the how the salesman will react on yeah we know yeah? for example persona what are the product knowledge assessment result oh 70 percent Oh, that's why their sales is not good. Yeah, we are supposed to go to go to ninety percent. Yeah, when they have ninety percent achievement in terms of their presentation skill, in terms of their knowledge or product knowledge is far far better than compared with the seventy percent assessment. Yeah, so that is crucial. If we do the training, we need to check their uh, capability. Yeah, don't simply just give the training and then let go. Bye bye, bye bye. See you next time. Yeah. Cannot, yeah. So you need to train them, uh, assess them, and then do the uh, checking, lah. Right? Okay. So uh, the uh, the the execution, I need to go on the gun chart. You can see this gun yeah. chart, the process that I've been given, yeah, to the self uh, So the success is written from the activities, yeah. You can see the, from, from year two thousand eight, yeah. And then, uh, uh, very happy uh, during this time, we increase to the second level. It means that we up to 24 points from the previous one, yeah? And then, you can see that from the previous one, for example, the Produa is 789, it's closely to one, it's only a 771. It means that we have another eight or seven points to beat uh, Produa, yeah? So that is the success experience, yeah? So in order for us to sustain our business, what we need to do, we come up with the uh, sales as uh, SOP. As we standardize it, and then we come up uh, to link with the ISO, certi uh, ISO, ISO certification, yeah? So this is the SOP uh, established and then being uh, practiced uh, till today, yeah? And if you go and buy your car, you can see that the sales rep will do this kind of presentation, yeah? So this is the final slide, yeah. So my recommendation to all of you, lah, especially for students and graduate engineers of the workers right now. So you, in order for you to competent, you need to have a three important things, yeah. First is a personnel, second is technical skill, and then finally is a business and leadership skills, all right. Uh, so this is reference from the IEM, how to become a successful project major, yeah. So I, I hope maybe later we can, uh, I can present later, yeah. So I believe that for all my presentation, it's good enough for you to understand how uh, we want to make sure that our customers satisfied when uh, uh, what, uh, buying our product or going to our uh, workshop, all right? Okay, bro. Okay. Thank you so much, Engineer Sukhairo, with the valuable experience sharing with us today, sharing with all the viewers. So I think if we give them more time, probably we can uh, talk more later, right? So so that's okay. Uh, we only have one hour uh, uh, time for us to share. And then I think uh, it's about a time for us to... Is it okay for us to share question and answer from our viewers, audience? Okay, uh, Engineer Sukhairul, we have one question here from Rohaizat Baharun. The question is, uh, how to improve company image via customer satisfaction? The best practice. Okay. All right, my answer is, uh, that's the thing that we uh, do. We do the benchmarking, yeah? We will check with our competitors uh, the level of satisfaction activities conducted by the company. Yeah. So from that benchmarking, we know where we need to go. Right. Okay. I 
think we have some communication uh, breakdown. Can you repeat yeah. uh, uh, in, in your Sukairo the answer, please? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, how to improve company image? We are customer satisfaction, yep. the best practice. Okay. Uh, we are um, we do the benchmarking. Yeah. Uh, hmm. We conduct the DE. Uh, for example, uh, we do the survey. Uh, for example, uh, when I was a branch manager. I will mm. make sure that uh, custom, uh, the competitors around me uh, in terms of their performance, in terms of what activities they have been conducted, yeah? So I need to be par with them, yeah? Uh, that is the things that we need to follow, lah, because it's more toward the investments that we need to add uh, in the future, lah, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you that answer, uh, Regina Sukairo. Uh, if allow uh, allow me to ask uh, something uh, about this uh, fast mitigation, I think we need to act fast, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the thing that uh, we during the designing or developing or building a car, uh, normally uh, we develop some of the car is based on the previous car. Yeah? For, for example, like maybe we can use some of their chassis or some of their uh, design to design a new car, right? So there is issues that uh, there will be if the problem did not solve at the early stage, so it will be a carryover problem. So that, is that thing happen? We, we call it carried over problem because we haven't solved the problem yet, but somehow it's been carried over to the new model. Can you comment on that in this spiral? Uh, okay, um, I have uh, experience on that. For example, most of the uh, what uh, models is like that. Lah. It's up to us, uh, the end, uh, what uh, the sale percent lah. It needs to be uh, work together with customer. Yeah? It means that the customer is also our our maybe external staff yeah so we need to uh say to them very nicely yeah uh, for example if you got a problem uh uh we mentioned that okay because of this uh, rectification required maybe five months yeah so when the parts available and then we replace back yeah, uh, to the customer even we give them the extended extended warranty period yeah in order for them to satisfy with the product yeah so i believe that customer uh, surely they have no problems, but, but if uh, our salesperson know how to engage with the customers and then customers, no problem. Yeah, so, so they will happy with us. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but in terms of the R&D, so do we need to, I mean, improvise from the previous design and how, how to make it fast, actually? We rectify the problem uh, quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for for, uh, for me, uh, it's more towards uh, communication, yeah. Because of if we get we have a uh, uh, faster communication between uh, each other, uh, and then easily for the implementation, yeah. For example, if you have uh, these problems, and then it's supposed to direct to the engineer that design the yeah. product instead of go right. to the production and QC and take a long time period for rectification, yeah. Uh, so everybody needs to work together, lah. Cannot work in silos, yeah. Needs to be a win-win situation all right yeah okay thank you for that answer yeah uh, i'm a bit curious about this uh, because we normally use this jd power right for yeah. for the uh, customer satisfaction index uh, is, yeah. is there any other companies doing the same thing so because yeah if we have a for example more than one company then we can do some comparison things like that do yeah. you have any comment on that Mm, okay, because JD Power is quite a uh, rely because it's international one. Yeah, even mm. our competitors also using the uh, JD Power. Yeah, for example, if we want to invest to another uh, consultant, it's, it's no problem. But uh, we want to go for the uh, uh, what, 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 how many companies that follow this uh, uh, what uh, studies. Yeah, so we are rely on this kind of uh, trusted mm -hmm. uh, what uh, survey. If another one wants to propose, maybe it takes a long period for uh, customers to trust. Yeah. Uh, okay. But in for this one, we have also conduct the internal survey. We have a Proton IK that you also use whatever JD Power is conducted. And then we have the result. We will check whether JD Power results are okay or our results are okay. Uh, something like that. Lah. So we have the 
counter check give all these yeah, things counter out. Check. Right. Yeah, counter check. Yeah. Yep. Yes. 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 Yeah. So finally, about win-win situation, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, Engineer Sukairo, I think we are uh, at the end of our sessions. Uh, thank you so much. I think we believe it. So I will believe that this is a uh, benefit to our students, staff, alumni, and our community as well. So our viewers, thank you for your passion and keep interest with our program, Leaders of Enterprise. And uh, it was a pleasure uh, for us for having you uh, with the last number of years today. Uh, please wait to our upcoming webinar um, will be next week and then stay stay safe stay healthy keep safe and keep distant yeah for this COVID-19 so engineer Sukairo thank you so much for being with us today so I hope that this is not the uh, first <laughs> webinar for you so we'll be actually inviting you next uh, uh, with more interesting topics, more interesting uh, sharing in the future. So thank you. Without man. that, uh, yeah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oh, you, do you want to say something, Engineer Sukairo, before okay, we yeah, end so, the session? Uh, so I would like to say thank you to Professor I.R. Dr. Aimi, uh, Cik Munir, and our Professor Dato I.R. Dr. Muhammad Rafiq, our Dean. Lah. Yeah. So I'm very happy to share this one and then maybe in future I will share another uh, topic again. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah. Bye.